today on Divorce Court. I feel that Javon wants me to be the perfect wife and mother. What husband don't want his wife to be a superman woman? I know it ain't finna happen. I just want you to do your best. Javon wants me to dress sexy, have sex with him two or four times a day. It's two things a wife should not do. Not let her husband go out hungry, and she should not let her husband go out horny. That's how problems get started. Javon, I want you to stop being so high maintenance. I feel like we can be a, a good team, but we're always fighting because she don't want to do her part. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Roshonda Brown and Jovan Brown. The two of you have been together for 13 years, married for 11. Your marriage is in trouble. That's why you're here. Mrs. Brown, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me about your relationship and why we're here today? Your Honor, I am here today because I love my husband. But, Your Honor, my husband wants me to be a perfect wife and a perfect mother. He wants me to dress sexy all of the time, Your Honor. He wants me to cook and clean, and he wants me to have sex two, three, four times a day, Your Honor. Oh. And I'm just overwhelmed by it, and I don't know what now to do. Now, we need to establish some parameters out the gate. <laughs> You work outside of the home. Is that accurate? I do. Yeah. How many hours a week do you work? Your Honor, I put in at least 40 to 50 hours a week. 40 to 50 hours a week. Do you disagree with that? Yes, I do. How much work do you say she does outside of the home? I, w I would say um, she works probably 24 hours a day. That means she, all she talk about and do is that uh, her, her business that she's in. Oh, okay. So she... She does spend a lot of time doing that. Right, she don't make time for nothing else. Yeah. So that's that's your complaint, that it's that she's not doing her wife stuff so because she's so busy doing the business stuff. Right. Tell me what she's not doing in terms of being a good wife. Okay, so I, me personally, I feel like she wants me to do everything. She um she'll wash the clothes, but she like the clothes will be in the basket for days before she put them up. Well, and I, I washed them, he needs to put them up. But, <laughs> but what what she's not telling you is. When, before I put a washing machine and dryer in the house, I used to take the clothes to the laundry mat and I'll wash them, and clean I put them, up. and I'll put them up. You lying. And, and, and I'll but, put but, them but up. But now we got a washing machine. I, I, now we got a washing machine. She washes, but she doesn't put them up. No, I don't feel like I should have to uh, get off of work and then and, and put the clothes I'll up work too. too. <laughs> <laughs> I get. You, is that, and that's what I mean. By her, the, the, do you the want her hours. to work less I outside the home? Do you do you think that she spends too much time making money, as opposed to making a home? She definitely ain't spending too much time making money, but she's spending too much time not making a home. Well, if I can, she, she's out, but she's not making any money. Well, she made, you're not she making made... any money, Mrs. Brown. Your Honor, I am a real estate agent, and right. I just got my license, so. In order for me to build up my clientele, I have to be out there hustling. I do Uber, I do Lyft, and I, you know, go out and try to prospect for clients. I have one client that, uh, thank you. I, I just got my license in May. I already have a listing, and I'm working on it. And if he would just give me a chance. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, Honor, when I go into the office to work, he blows up my phone, calling me, asking me, where you at? Where you at? Come up to the barbershop and help me out at the barbershop. I drop everything and I go up there to be a supportive wife. When I get up there, because he say it's She's so busy lying, up there, Honor. I go up there, ain't Your Honor, happening. ain't nothing happening up there. He just want me up there. <laughs> Mr. Brown, now let me ask you. Your wife got has got her hustle on. She's trying to get out there and make some money, make things easier, make things... Don't you respect the hustle? I, 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 I absolutely respect the hustle. I'm a hustler myself, so I, re, I respect the game. I want to see some results, though. And I don't want it to be at the expense of our future. Like, you know, if, if we not together as, as, as a as husband and wife, then that's going to be messing up with the children. The children grow, grow up, and they're going to think, like, family ain't that mm -hmm. important. Like, mm -hmm. like uh, a career is more important. If I'm uh, going out here making money, it's more important. What I, and this is what I try to explain to her. I said, listen, baby, 
take get, get up in the, when you get up in the morning and you get the kids uh, off the school and stuff like that. Set a certain time out for your business. Don't if somebody calling at ten o'clock uh, at night. Wait till the next day. Tell them you're gonna uh, get back to them doing your um, business hours. Set, make it, make it organized. That way, you will have time to handle um, the, the the cooking and the, um, the kids with their homework. See, I think, Mr. Brown, I like you. I, I, I mean, I do, and, and I think you want good things. But what you 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 want a full time wife who also makes money. Exactly. There, there are sacrifices that have to be made. And she's not going to make a lot of money in the beginning because she's getting started. But once she starts selling a few homes, you're going to see a lot of money. So you but can't see, that's, be... That's why I'm misunderstood. It, like, and, then, and I don't know why, like, if I'm conveying that, because she thinks the same thing that I'm talking about money. No, I feel like I do enough to, to uh, provide for the family. I know I can be doing better, but I will do better if I feel better. If I have a wife and she just... All over the place. I can't. I can't sit her down, and we can't communicate. We can't have a, a conversation to come to some common ground. His then... common ground is me doing whatever he tell me to do. That's common ground for him. Uh -huh. He just wanted done his way or no way at all. This woman let, is not. Let me ask she you this. Let, let me ask you. Let me give Mr. Brown some s s some love over here. Do you make time for the marriage though? And I'm not talking about cooking and cleaning because I. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> But do you make time to make sure that the fa that your husband feels like he's in a relationship and not just a drive-by? I do, Your Honor. Every single day, um, I'm there with him in the morning. After me and him both take the kids to school together, we come home together. Um, I make us smoothies, you know. Um, I even go to work with him some days mm -hmm. and sit at the front desk mm -hmm. and greet customers and make sure they sign in and just be that support system there. And I do this at least three times a week. Well, he Does she do that? She come to the job, and, and I admit, because, I mean, she she's very professional. She's a beautiful woman, so when the cousins come in, they make them feel good, like, oh, yeah, this is a but nice... But she does do that. that. Yeah, she does it sometimes. She talking about a smoothie. Ask her the last time she made me a smoothie. <laughs> and when was the last time before that? She probably did it once. When was the last time you made a smoothie? Made me a meal or anything. And then, and then okay, she... Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> We need to get together on what, who's doing what for whom and why it's that person's job. After I had my last child, Javon was not supportive of me at all. Javon was not there for me. He was out partying while I was at home changing diapers. I suffer from postpartum depression, mm. which led to me being an angry drunk. I was drinking two bottles of wine per night, Your Honor. My understanding, Mrs. Brown, is that not only do you think that his demands for household duties are excessive, but he has demands on you personally with respect to how you dress and all of that that you think are excessive. Why don't you speak to that? Well, Your Honor, he wants me to dress sexy all of the time. For example, he picked out this dress. Mm. Um, when we go shopping, um, he wants to pick out my clothes. Um, if I like something and he may like something else, you know, I always end up getting what he wants, he wants. me to wear. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mr. Brown, is that accurate or is something else going on? This is the thing. I, like, I can't tell her nothing. She, she her own woman and I ain't the boss of hers and she ain't gonna let me be the boss of her. If she wears something, it's because she want to wear it. I tell her, matter of fact, I tell her don't wear certain things if I'm not around because I don't want, you know, I don't want her, her safety at, uh, in jeopardy. Or... So you tell her what to wear when? Not when, not like that, dog. He I just say, if you're gonna dress something like, like that, like, don't, like, come on, look at her. If she wearing um, something like that, not probably not that that, that uh, flamboyant, but if she wearing like some leggings or something like you that, don't want and she her go to, not when she doing when Uber, she's not with you, huh? Yeah, yeah when, when she no, no. Let me ask you. We're always talk. We're talking here about the support that you provide for him or not are failing to provide. Do you feel he's supportive of you? No, Your <laughs> Honor. Not all of the time in ways that I would like for him to be. I would like when I go out to do Uber. I want to do it without him constantly calling me all the time. Right. Wanting me to I'll stop. Be and then, stop. 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 And then he gets mad at me when I don't have any money. How can I make money if you if he won't let me go out and make the money? Either you want me to be a stay-at-home mom 
or you want me to work? Like, you can't have it both ways. You know what I want you well, to be, so don't even try that. He what wants me he to, want be to be a, a stay-at-home mom. I, I want her to... Before, I, you know, I did, I was like, you know, if I hold down the family financially and stuff like that, then it'd be beneficial for her to raise the kids, give them principles, advice that we want, teach them, help them with their homework and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But I don't want to... I don't want to make her my prisoner. I understand she she got her own dreams that she mm-hmm. had and she want to be successful individually like that. And I support her in that. And I encourage... Matter of fact, I'm the one who put her through real estate school and I, um, I paid for the, the final test and she did good. She got a 96 on it and I'm, I'm proud of her on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, Mr. Brown, but, Mr. Brown, Mr. Wait, 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 Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, I get to lean in not to like you and then you say something makes you, make me want to like you and I just, I'm, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't, I, I don't know what to do. Your Go ahead. Mother, when I was pregnant, well, actually, after I had my last child, Javon was not supportive of me at all. Um, Your Honor, I have five children, um, three from a previous marriage, and I have two with Javon. Uh Um, When I had the two babies, the last two babies, Javon was not there for me. He was out partying while I was at home, changing diapers, um, doing midnight feedings, and, you know, the babies are crying. Your Honor, I suffer from postpartum depression Mm. that led to me having an alcohol problem, which led to me being an angry drunk. I was drinking two <laughs> bottles of wine per night, Your Honor. I, I I mean, Mr. Brown, I, mean, I, mean, I, I made a mistake. I, I wish I would have been more supportive of her. But then. can you tell and me I'm tell why? You why? What was I'm happening? A, what, what happened was um, I come home from work and I ain't know nothing about post, post-matic distress and all that. <laughs> postpartum depression. Post, yeah. I got you. Postpartum Depression. Right. Not yet. I didn't. I didn't. I ain't know. I ain't know nothing about that. And then she be in there. And we had a. We had a, a big house. So listen, this girl. I tell. She had. We had a newborns, new babies, or whatever. Small, small babies. And she wanted to go full time to school, full time to work, and then put the babies in daycare. I'm like, wait, wait. Let them be able to start talking yeah, I knew first. We needed money. We but she we, always we talk about behind. money. We ain't, do she look like she needs some money? That's well. And, and who? No, she don't. No. And, 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 that's because she's working, but okay. Um, let's calm down. Okay. Relax. Take a breath and see what we can do. Because I think you're good people who love one another and are talking past each other. Javon drinks at least four times a week. Uh-huh. And then the next day, he's usually hungover and cannot go open up the barbershop until I nurse him back to health. And I can't work, he can't work. And that's why we're behind, because of his drinking problem. What would you do if your spouse tried to keep you from working? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mrs. Brown, you say Mr. Brown has a drinking problem. Why do you say that? Um, Your Honor, Javon drinks um, at least four times a week. And when he drinks, he stays up late at night. Uh And then the next day, he's usually hungover and cannot go open up the barbershop. And he does not want me to leave the home until I nurse him back to health, which is usually about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I can't work, he can't work, and that's why we're behind, because of his drinking problem. Do you think you drink too much? What man don't get off of work and have a beer? She had like all a... night. No, I don't. How, how, how many Mr. beers? Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, talk to me. How many beers do you have on any given evening? On every evening, I have at least two or three beers. Uh uh-huh. That's a lot. No, that ain't. If to, someone, if, if someone would say, "Look, this week ain't no beer in the whole city," would you be stressed? <laughs> no. Or would it be? Uh... Look at his face. No, you know I'll just figure, figure out something else to do. It's just something that I wind out. I take the edge off after the day. Like, I'll be on my feet all day. I'll be working. I'll be having the stress of running the shop, um, rob, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know, I got right, a lot right. of pressure on me. Right. So when I get, get home, I, you know, I, I want to um, relax. What do you think she ought to do to de-stress and, and, and get the pressure off of her? She's got kids. She's, she's working. Uh, the girl not stressed. That's the problem. She ain't stressed. All the stress you falling stress on me. You stress me out. What you mean I'm not stressed? Right. So, now, if, if I stress her out, the woman has uh, set the tone of the house. It must be something she doing you wrong. You say, Your Honor, everything my fault. Right, no, everything it. my fault. I got it. Your Honor, three years ago, 
I went through, like I was telling you that I used to be a drinker, an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. Um, Your Honor, I was very overweight as well. I used to weigh 200 pounds. I just was not a happy person. Um, I went on a spiritual journey where I just cut off all of my hair, did this big chop. Um, I started working out. I stopped drinking. I joined AA and just started figuring out. Good for you. Thank you. Look at that. (laughs) That's fabulous, isn't it, Mr. Brown? Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of it. Mr. Brown, why don't you tell me about that period in her life. How do you feel about what was going I'm, on? I'm, I'm, I'm proud of her. And that's that's one of the main reasons why I love her. When she make her mind up about something, she, she, she does it. And that's why, like, it, it's so frustrating and hurtful. It's like, like you don't take me serious. You don't take our marriage serious. Because I know you, don't you, take you capable. Life serious, okay? Who don't take and then she, Why she do you wanna... think she doesn't take your marriage seriously? I, I really want to know that. I think, you that. know what? I think because of... Um, that time we were just talking about where uh, she felt like I wasn't supportive of her and she was going through her postpartum depression. I didn't know I should have been there more. Right. I, now, if, if I, if I could have turned, went, went back in hindsight when I look at it, I feel like I could have been more supportive. I think our marriage took a big hit then and we still re- recovering. I think you hit the nail on the head and I'm going to tell you what to do about it. How should you best manage a stressful relationship? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mr. Brown, most people come in here and never get anywhere near pinpointing the source of their difficulties. I think you did that. I think you came in. When she went through that postpartum depression, it made you angry. She wasn't doing what she needed to do. And you didn't commiserate with her at all. You didn't, you didn't understand it at all because if you can't see it, you don't really believe it. And if you can't experience it, it can't really be real. She must just be sloughing off. And then you got stuck on, she's not doing enough. She, you got stuck on that. And now that's the thesis sentence in the paragraph of your marriage. She's not doing right. Those are the things that you remember, the things that she's not doing right. And you're not giving her credit for the things that she's doing. Your Uber, Lyft, real estate, because you were telling me all the pressure is on me with robbing Peter to pay Paul. She's out there trying to make money, but you disrespect that because that doesn't allow her to be sexy when he's with you, but when she's but not when she's not with you. Doesn't allow her to cook and to clean. You want her to give you a hundred percent of everything all of the time, and to the extent she doesn't, she's failed. In return, you have absolutely no clue what it is to support her. Thank you. Emotionally. A lot of people have their needs, and they understand their needs. And to the extent somebody needs things that you don't need, you don't understand them at all. And I think that's where you are. And I think if you stepped off of, what am I getting, what am I getting, what am I getting, and think, what have I got, what have I got, what have I got? You'll find out that you've got an awful, awful lot. She's not going to be able to do it all. She's willing to do a whole lot. Enjoy what she's doing and stop focusing on what she's not. Don't blow it looking for everything when you got most of the things. You with me? You're a good dude. Ease off the pedal a little bit. You driving her crazy? And by extension, me. (laughs) This matter is adjourned. In order for me to continue in this marriage, Javon would need to stop drinking, stop demanding sex from me all of the time, and stop preventing me from going to work. And if he doesn't, um, I want a divorce. My wife thinks I make a lot of demands. Um, I don't don't think I make any any other demands that another husband would want.